Hey guys, what's going on Tops here and welcome to update video number two and this is an IRL edition. So I'll just be updating you on what has happened recently with my life. And the title is Spending Spree, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be talking about. And I spent a total of 200, over, over $300 today. And yeah, I, I will explain to you what I spent them on and what I think of those uh, items I spent them on. First thing I bought was something I ordered a few days ago, and it was a Rat 7 mouse. And if you don't know what that is, it's a extreme gaming mouse, and it I'm using it right now, and it works fantastic. It's very comfortable. It's very customizable. It has interchangeable parts where you can take off the back of it and place it with a different back. You might find it more comfortable because they include more in the uh, in the package where you buy them. It includes other ones, and there's like pinky, different pinky grips as well, and you can, excuse me, where you put your thumb, you can rotate that to like maybe a different degree of whichever you find the most comfortable, so it's very customizable. You can also, you know, make it longer, make it shorter, and then the very end of it, there's a, there's a screwdriver. Not like a normal screwdriver, but the screwdriver you would use to, you know, switch the parts in and out. So it's very convenient. And it all, you can also customize the weight, how how much it weighs. So you can have it weigh a bit more or a bit less, depending on what you prefer. Okay, and the second thing I bought was a Logitech 510, I think it's called, yeah. Oh, Logitech G510 keyboard. And what this keyboard is, is it is also a gaming uh, keyboard. And it is works fantastic, and I really love, love it so far. So some of the features of it is it comes with 16, I mean 18 G keys. If you don't know what G keys are, they're basically, basically programmable keys, which you can assign them to do anything. And they are all on the right side, I mean left side, of my of your keyboard. So if I wanted to bind G1, to have that be I, for whatever reason, or you can uh, uh, you can adjust them to macros so that you can have a, a key combination. Like if I wanted to say I were playing, uh, say if I was playing uh, World of Warcraft or any game where you use an action bar, and I wanted to have G1 be you click five, two, three, which would be whatever abilities that is. You can do that with that. You just click one key and it automatically, you know, presses the combination or whatever it is that you have. So there's 18 different of those keys. I have them currently. Since um, I'm more of an a ASDW fan, where you use uh, those to, you know, rotate your screen instead of the arrow keys, I have binded the G2, G4, G5, and G6 to my arrow keys. So my left hand can be on the left part of the keyboard instead of, you know, like, on the right side, which is just uncomfortable. You can have them on this side now, and it's a lot more comfortable. And I have G3 be backspace, and G1 be enter. So, you know, if I click Q, G1 enters it, Q, G3, and it goes back. So that's very nice, and it also has its lighting. On the whatever symbol it is, there will be a light underneath it. And it looks very cool when you turn off the lights and you can change the colors to whatever color you'd like. And it's not just like blue. You can have different shades of blue, whatever kind of, you know, there's that whole color panel that you can do all this on. Right, let's see some other features here. You can turn on and off the light. There's a little sound scroller, which you can adjust the sound, your volume, which is fantastic. I love that. Because I have a... Uh, the same thing on my headset. This is a Logitech G. What is it called again? Let's see. Logitech G90. I mean, not G G9 930. And that also has a scroll thing. But for whatever reason, sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it won't lower my volume, but this will. And you know, I'll just use whichever I feel more comfortable. Right next to that. There's a mute button, which will mute the sound. And above that, there's play button, pause, stop, fast forward, go back, all those 
there's buttons and there's even a small screen on the keyboard which they have like you can set up to iTunes and you can have the playing songs on there and it's very useful and there's even a headphone and microphone jack in here as well but my headset I don't use those jacks so it's not really that useful to me Um, so that the Rat Seven, uh, uh, that that cost me a hundred dollars, not including tax. So Rat was a hundred dollars, and then this keyboard was also a hundred dollars. So that added up to two hundred dollars. So we still have another like around, about three hundred to go. Uh, I got a one-year membership to Xbox Live because I recently started actually using my Xbox because I got my Xbox about a year ago and never really used it at all but now I'm just starting to actually buy games for it and actually use it which is good because it was doing no use just sitting there but so that's what I did with that I I bought Black Ops and MW3 for that and I just got a year membership today for Xbox Live, which cost me sixty dollars. Originally, I was gonna get a three-month card for twenty-five dollars, but then I thought to myself, "Well, three months for twenty-five. So if I were to get a year's worth of three-month cards, that would cost me a hundred dollars. And if I just get a year all at once, which I'll probably be using it for a year, if not more than that, that would cost me sixty dollars. So it's almost half off if I just buy it all at once. At once." Which I thought was a better decision to do. Because now that I think of it, I don't want to be wasting $40. My brother is being so loud upstairs. If you can, I hope you guys can't hear that. Because it's really annoying. But let's see what else did I buy. Plus, something that was $30. Oh yeah, I bought Black Ops today as well. Which is $30 used. Not Black Ops 2, but just the original Black Ops. Because Black Ops 2 used was $55. And I'm like, no. Later on, maybe I'll get that, but not now. I'm not doing. I'm not getting that because I felt like it would be a waste. Because the only reason I wanted Black Ops was because zombies. Because MW3, as you probably know, doesn't have zombies. It has another type of version of that. It's like Survivor, where it's the same thing except you're facing humans and they have guns, which I find a lot more annoying. So and then that's two hundred ninety dollar total right there. And then you have to include tax for everything. So that brings it to a total of over $300 today I spent. Which was quite insane. But I am satisfied with my purchases for sure. I'm definitely glad I spent the money. Because most of the money was from my... A lot of money was from my birthday money. Because I got 100 from... Um, if I got, yeah, so most of it covered. So remember that. But that's it for today, guys. If you like this video or you want to see more, feel free to hit that like button and post in the comment section below what else would you like to see from me. Content-wise, commentary-wise, what would you like to see more of? I'd really appreciate that. So have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.